our love. Near thee, Madonna, fondly we hover, trusting thy gentle care to prove. On this day we ask to share Dearest Mother, thy sweet care Aid us ere our feet astray Wander from thy guiding In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. So we'd like to welcome again uh, those who are watching uh, through YouTube, this uh, daily Mass here at uh, uh, St. Mary's. And uh, yeah, I'd just like, like to thank you for uh, a lot of like um, uh, affirmation and encouragement of what we're trying to do here, uh, and uh, just acknowledge your presence also. Uh, also, uh, today is Saturday, and, uh, and Ma Saturday is devoted to Mary. And usually on Saturday when I'm celebrating the Mass, uh, I would do like a, a, ma a votive Mass for our Blessed Virgin Mary. And today, I'm going to offer this Mass for the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of Apostles. Okay, so uh, as you know, in, in the upper room, uh, Mary was with the Apostles, and she was interceding for... Uh, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles. And we're all apostles, okay? So we're not just disciples of Jesus Christ because uh, apostles are sent out, okay? So we're, we're sent out. We're sent out to proclaim the good news to other people. But we need the Holy Spirit in order to do that, okay? So that's why I'm going to offer this Mass for, uh, to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of Apostles. So pay attention to the prayers and also to the preface uh, of this Mass. Brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who gave the Holy Spirit to your apostles as they joined in prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus, grant through her intercession we may faithfully serve your majesty and extend by word and example the glory of your name. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After spending much time at Antioch, Paul departed and went from place to place, through the region of Galatia and Phrygia, strengthening all the disciples. Now there came to Ephesus a Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria. He was an eloquent man, well-versed in the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord, and he spoke with burning enthusiasm and taught accurately the things concerning Jesus, though he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained the way of God to him more accurately. And when he wished to cross over to Achaia, 
the believers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples to welcome him. On his arrival, Paul greatly helped those who through grace had become believers, for he powerfully refuted the Jews in public, showing by the scriptures that the Messiah is Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. Clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to God with loud songs of joy. For the Lord the Most High is awesome, a great king over all the earth. God is king of all the earth. For God is the king of all the earth. Sing praise with a psalm. God is king over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. God is king of all the earth. The princes of the peoples gather, all the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is highly exalted. God is king of all the earth. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I went from the Father and came into the world, and now I leave the world to return to the Father. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father, he said to the disciples, Very truly I tell you, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask, and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have said these things to you in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but will tell you plainly of the Father. On that day you will ask in my name. I do not say to you that I will ask the Father on your behalf, for the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Again, I am leaving the world and am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So Jesus continued to give his uh, farewell speech to his disciples. Um, He's going to be ascending to heaven soon. Uh, So he was giving this uh, farewell speech. And he says here, he says, Very truly, I tell you, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Does it mean that when you ask anything from the Father, and then we use in the name of Jesus, he will answer our prayers? You know, let's say uh, you pray to God, Father, uh, uh, I pray that you um, let me win the lottery so that I will have like $40 million dollars. And I pray in Jesus' name. You know, will, 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 will God, will God uh, answer that prayer? Maybe, I don't know. But it doesn't mean that you use the name of Jesus 
uh, in your prayer, every, all your prayers will be answered by God the Father. Okay? And, and we need to remember that in, in Jesus' time, when you say in the name of the person, what you're saying is that you are coming, you know, what, you, you are believing, you are, um, you are, you are uh, one with what the person stood for, the substance of their character or their authority. Okay? So, what the person stood for, the substance of their character or their authority. Okay? So, whenever we, we, we pray in Jesus' name, which, which means, you know, we're given power, you know, in praying in the authority of Jesus. You know, by the authority of Jesus give, uh, has given you uh, and consistent with his character, his desire, and his will. Okay? So, that's, that's, that's the, the meaning of uh, when we say we pray in the name of Jesus. Okay? You know, we, we, we want to, you know, we want to have his character, his desire, and his will. And what is his desire? His desire is always to fulfill the will of the Father. Okay, and what is the will of the Father? The will of the Father is that we do God's commandment, which is to love, to love God and to love others. And what is also his, his will for us? For us to grow in holiness and to become a saint. And what's his other will for us is to do the mission that God has called us to do. And that mission is to carry that message, to carry the gospel, the good news, to all people so that we will be able to bring them to an encounter with God and undergo conversion and be his disciple. That's our mission. So whenever, whenever we, we, we pray, and it's according to his will, according to the desire of Jesus, he will, the Father cannot resist but answer our prayers. Because what happened there is that when we pray in the name of Jesus, it is Jesus praying for us. And when Jesus prays for us, the Father answers the prayer of his Son. Okay? So, whenever you, whenever you, whenever you pray something, Okay? Always remember, are you praying it in the name of Jesus? And when you pray in the name of Jesus, expect, expect that the Father will answer your prayers. Jesus invites us to make every petition to the Father through Him and guarantees us joy in answer to our prayers. That the leaders of the church, through their preaching and guidance, may lead us to the glory of our heavenly home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who hold public office may be given the grace to serve with honesty and integrity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who find life stressful and burdensome may receive strength from the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who find life stressful and burdensome may receive strength from the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may find comfort and encouragement from their loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may be brought to the joy and glory of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of this Mass, for the repose of the soul of Krista Vave, offered by Dan and Annie Gutowski. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, you always hear us and grant all we ask for through the merits of your Son. May your Spirit abide in us to teach us what we should ask God for and to pour forth your gifts in our midst. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. You say
satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. As when the shepherd calls his sheep, they know and heed his voice. So when you call your family, Lord, we follow and rejoice. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. With joyful lips we sing to you our praise and gratitude that you should count us worthy, Lord, to share this heavenly food. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. Pray, brothers and sisters, that the sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. By your favor, O Lord, and through the intercession of Blessed Mary, ever virgin, may our offering obtain for your church this grace, that she may grow in the number of the faithful and be ever radiant with an abundance of virtues. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and every word to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, on this memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the first to proclaim Christ, even before the apostles, guided by the Holy Spirit, she hastened to bring her son to John, that he might be sanctified and filled with joy. It was the same Spirit who made Peter and the other, other apostles fearless in preaching the gospel to all nations with its saving mes message of life in Christ. In our own day, the Blessed Virgin inspires by her example new preachers of the gospel, cherishes them with a mother's love, and sustain them by her unceasing prayer, so that they may bring the good news of Christ the Savior to all the world. With all the saints and angels, we praise you forever. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Terence, and Marcel, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we are married to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. The mystery of your presence, Lord, no mortal tongue can tell whom all the world cannot contain comes in our hearts to dwell. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. You give yourself to us, O Lord, then selfless let us be to serve each other in your name in truth and charity. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. Let us pray. Having partaken, O Lord, of these helps to our salvation in our commemoration of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of Apostles, we humbly beseech you that persevering in your will and in service of the human family, your people may draw ever close to salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. It's, been, it's been a joy. Um, celebrating Mass for you for, for two weeks. Uh, I was talk, talking to Father Mark uh, the other day and, um, because he's going to come back uh, next week. And I said, you better come back. You know, uh, I think the people are tired to listening to, <laughs> to my preaching for two weeks now. <laughs> so you better come back. So he's going to come and celebrate Mass next week. And of course, Deacon Marcus also will be, will be preaching. So it's going to be at the St. Mary's YouTube channel starting this Monday. Okay. Um, also, uh, I have some. Uh, also, uh, I hope you could join me in, in, in doing the novena to the Holy Spirit. So I do it uh, from uh, here at St. Mary's Parish, and it's also going to be live stream at the St. Mary's YouTube channel uh, from May 22 to May 30 from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. So that's in preparation for Pentecost. And also, we have a Pentecost vigil here at St. Mary's. Uh, and it's going to be on May 30 from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And we've invited um, Father Roger Vandenacker, the General Superior of the Compassion for Cross, the, the community that I belong to. He's an excellent preacher. You know, you, you, you would love to listen him preach. And he's going to be talking about uh, why we need the fire of a new Pentecost today. Okay, so, so, so something for you to look forward to. Uh, also, uh, this Sunday... Uh, I have some good news to you, and also I have a surprise for you, okay? So hopefully you'll be able to uh, join us here at St. Mary's uh, for the Sunday Mass this coming Sunday. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. 
be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And that our Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. On this day, O oh beautiful Mother, on this day we give Thee our love. Near Thee, Madonna, fondly we hover, trusting Thy gentle care to prove. 